Hi friends, good morning, good morning. Today is uh, Wednesday, and so um, I'm gonna show you a grocery haul from Walmart. Actually, it's gonna be a delivery from Walmart. And I'm gonna show you my week's menu, which actually started yesterday, and I have it on here already, of course, but um, I'll go ahead and show that to you now. I think it's supposed to be up near 60 today. I think I can see sunbeams up in the trees, like the sun is getting ready to come. <laughs> We'll see. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning here. My name is Kendra, by the way, and welcome if you're brand new. If you see something you like, I hope you consider subscribing. I uh, do grocery hauls, cooking, uh, go out on the road, shopping kind of stuff, you know, just fun stuff usually. And um, if you're not new, welcome back. And here comes that menu. All right, so this is for the week of March 20th through the... What is it? 26th. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't have Monday on here. I don't even remember what I did Monday, but I know what I did yesterday. <laughs> I had the guys go get pizza from Costco. I said, pick me up some pizza and while you're there, grab me some strawberries, some of those good strawberries they had. Well, the guy, usually you have to go into the deli area to get your pizzas. And the guy was walking through the store and caught them on their way to the strawberries and rang them up for it. So they didn't have to get in line and they said, hey, we'll get the strawberries next. You cannot get good help for free anymore. I'll tell you what. Anyway, it wasn't a big deal. I got strawberries coming today from my grocery haul too. I'm going to make a um, strawberry spinach salad with those. So today, today is pork chops, sweet potatoes, and applesauce, and whether that happens today or not, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm supposed to get them from the, well, I am getting them from the grocery haul, but on the way out, one of my guys, Tork, <coughs> one of my guys said, hey, uh, on those pork chops, use a recipe. <laughs> you don't even want to know what I said to him. Um, he feels like I don't make them the way he would make them. And he is, you know, needing to be in his own place with his own chef. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, Thursday the 23rd, salmon patties and that spinach salad. And I don't know what else. <laughs> the 24th is Friday and it's breakfast for dinner. I'm going to do blueberry pancakes, bacon, and hash browns. And I'm going to use up the uh, hash brown patties that we have in the freezer rather than the ones that come in the little milk cartons. I cannot wait to try those. Dawn at Double D Homestead did them yesterday. And she fixed them, you know, and showed everybody what they look like coming out, what they look like rehydrating. Um, they, she said they taste just like homemade, so I can't wait. To, as soon as these out of the freezer are gone, I'm going to do those. Then the 25th is hot dogs and macaroni and cheese and whatever else. Vixens with hot dogs. It's a Saturday. And then on Sunday the 26th, I am going to make a Godly Home Melanie's um, Poor Man Steak, which is like a really thin hamburger patted down, you know. I'm going to do it with mushrooms and brown gravy, mashed potatoes and green beans. And welcome spring. I didn't even say that, right? Um, the first day of spring was what, Monday, I think? I told you I'm no artist. <laughs> so the next thing you'll see is going to be my... Uh, Grocery haul. We'll get right to it. Hope you're having a really good, what is it, Wednesday? I just want to show you real quick, too, while I'm waiting for the grocery delivery to arrive, that we got our uh, sales flyers in the mail yesterday, and the sales start today. Walmart does not send out flyers. When they first opened here, they religiously sent flyers, just like the other grocery stores, but then that's one of the things that Walmart stops doing after they move in, and, you know... I won't go more into that. But anyway, the only thing I wanted to show you was this. Uh, Fred Meyer Kroger has Land O'Lakes butter, $2.99 each, and that's for a pound. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal for Land O'Lakes, I think. And you can use that coupon, ugh, sorry for the running around, up to five times, but I do have to use the digital thing. What I'm going to do is send one of the guys who has it already on their phone and have them pick up five for me. Safeway Albertsons are two here, and Safeway is called other things in other areas of the country that we have. Their butter that's on sale is Land of Lakes, and it's three ninety nine. So meh. Oh, you got to buy four to get the price. Four of Fab Four sale. Anything on this page? Lay's, Cheez Its, 
pot pies, TV dinners, yogurts, Pepsis. I guess that's a pretty good price on the Pepsis if you buy it. Cookies, berries, flavored creamers in the Lucerne Safeway brand. There's the butter. Frozen uh, veggies. That seems high for the frozen peas, but maybe not. Ritz and uh, poppers, whatever those are. So anyway, I'm going to be using not Safeway Albertsons for that, but Fred Meyer this time because that's a better deal. And I'll go ahead and get five all at once. One more thing. This is also same Fred Meyer Kroger, and they've got their planters 40% off. And I bought those um, two new rose plants, and I need a couple of buckets for them. And I was just going to get cheap ones. But these will last for years because they're not plastic. I think they're concrete or something. I'll have to get in there and look, but 40% off, so I need soil as well, and I saw they had that. Okay, now, um, here is the, the rundown. You'll see the haul just after this. I had a Walmart delivery with Instacart. They get a $15 suggested, which I let go, and that, that's, our, that's on there. They get that, but then I put an extra tip on the door so they don't have to explain where their lunch money came from. They can just have it for gas or whatever they need it for. And then I'm also charged for bags and, of course, tax. And so for everything that you'll see in a few minutes, well, next, $225.88, and that's for the week. Finally, here's the grocery haul. So this is for the week, and um, I have the other things I need on my a menu for the week, but I didn't have pork chops. I wanted more hot dogs, and my bacon was frozen, and I thought, and it was already in a three-pound chub, and I didn't separate it like I should have. Anyway, so more bacon, and that was just a pound. Let's see, so that's all the meat protein, and then here's the um, produce, fruit, and vegetables. I got a pound of strawberries, a pound of blueberries, some purple grapes, 10 ounce bag of spinach, and that is for the spinach and strawberry salad. Some parsley, that's for a quinoa salad. Cucumbers are for eating and also for the quinoa salad, and I hope that everything's okay in there. You know, it's kind of hit or miss. Got a little bitty watermelon. Probably is going to be not as good as summer, of course, because I I don't see any hints of, you know, what they say to look for when they're ripe. Yeah, there's no white. There's no yellow. It's just a green watermelon. <laughs> I'm going to let that set for a couple days. And then two green bell peppers. Three of the yellow, red, orange, and that's quinoa salad. <laughs> It's a cold salad made with grains and vegetables and a little bit of a dressing, and everybody here really likes it. And then I got two of the Honeycrisp apples, and I used to buy these in bigger, you know, amounts, but they're so expensive that I want them to be eaten. <laughs> so it gets two at a time, because it's just one kid that eats them. And then I've got... Um, I thought I felt something mushy, but I didn't. The strawberries aren't all the way ripe. They're ripe enough for me. I'll eat them like that and enjoy them. But a lot of people like them a little bit darker, including some family members. So that's it for, for the produce and the meat. There you go. I didn't didn't get much for um, you know drinks. I didn't need any milk or anything this week. I did get my usual Milo's Zero Sweet Tea, and I got a Simply Orange liquid orange juice. This is already in the can on the front porch for whoever the guys, company, family, pickup people, Instacart, you know all of the delivery people with the sign. This right here, I got such a good deal, and it was the cheapest orange juice they had. It was a really good deal. And then when I got it home, <laughs> I realized the first ingredient is water, and the second ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. So that, um, I, I might use that, like, for a recipe for a pound cake or something, or 
cookies, I don't know what, but I certainly will not use this as an orange juice like I would this for breakfast. This just, you know, I drink high fructose corn syrup when I drink some sodas and stuff or, or I eat candy. But if I'm looking for orange juice, I'm looking for orange juice and it was my bad. I won't make that mistake again. I didn't this didn't come with my grocery order, but it's taking up a lot of room in my um, house freezer. So I'm going to cook this up and call it lunch for whoever happens by. And for me, it's uh, we call them pot stickers, but this calls them chicken dumplings. And I don't know where I got it, but probably, um, oh, Costco, not positive. Here's a non-food. have an overview of it. So I got six rolls. Two, four, six. Oh, wait, it's double that. So it's 12 rolls. I'm sorry. 12 rolls of Angel Soft toilet paper. I got another um, 60 of my freezer Ziplocs. I use those for so many things. And then I got another Scrub Daddy. I wash mine in the refriger refrigerator. What is wrong with me? I wash my Scrub Daddy in the dishwasher with the dinner dishes every night so that they, it doesn't smell and stink and it stays pretty. But I think using it in the dishwasher every single night makes it so it's not as scrubby after time, but I'm not willing to let it sit there and have germs and smell, you know. Anyway. Two sparkle paper towels. It's not the brand the family uses in the kitchen. It's what I like in the bathroom. I use it for washing my hands. I use it for, you know, just all kinds of stuff. Just cleaning up the, the bathroom counter, sink, whatnot. So that's that. And it's, it's a less expensive than Bounty, which is the family favorite. Uh, and Fresh Pet. This is the non-grain, grain-free dog food that my little yappers insist upon. That's it for not. Oh, shame on me. It is a Sicilian lemon Yankee candle, and it reminds me of spring, and I wanted it. There you have it. That's it for non food. Not much on dairy. I got a cherry yogurt, and a marionberry. A strawberry raspberry and a peach and those are for one of the guys uh, takes one in his lunch or eats one for breakfast each day and I got two of the snack lunch size sharp white cheddar Tillamook brand and two of the medium cheddar lunch size brand they snack on these they take them in their lunch and you know I guess it beats little Debbie but it is expensive and here's an overview of what I got, like, box-wise for the pantry. And these are breakfast, lunch, snacks, that kind of thing. I like to get the great value of these because they're a screaming value. So I got a double uh, 12 of the frosted brown sugar and six of the frosted strawberry. I got two of the Sunbelt Bakery peanut butter chocolate chip bars. 15 of the Nature Valley Fruit and Nut lunch boxes. Um, these are also for breakfast or lunch box. 32 variety pack of the Great Value Fruit and Grain cereal bars. So let's see, there is strawberry, apple cinnamon, and mixed berry. 16 of the strawberry and 18 of the other, no, 8 of the other two. So. That's that. And then a breakfast cereal here, family size, frosted mini wheats. Um, so I don't have much left now. We're almost done. Just two things of bread this week. I didn't get any bagels or English muffins or donuts or anything like that. I just got the um, hot dog buns and the buttermilk white bread. And they're both Franz, uh, Franz brand and the reason I do that is there's no high fructose corn syrup. It's kind of a throwback from when the kids ate nothing but what I provided them and they didn't get high fructose corn syrup. This is so funny because I thought that all of these would be loose in this giant box, but what I got was four individual boxes. So that's fine, you know. So this is it, the last one, two, three, four, five items. And these are pantry 
So I got two more of the brown gravy mix. I'm making that poor man's steak. I think I'm going to probably use this gravy. And then I got gourmet nacho cans, and I used that for the Crunchwrap Supremes. <laughs> Yum. And I don't want to pay Safeway prices, so I got it for a lot less at Walmart during my haul this week. Just to stock up. Also for stock up, simply fruit strawberry for sandwiches for the kids. They like that. And toast. And um, I prefer the homemade <laughs> jam. <laughs> anyway, the um, this was my bad. <laughs> I never buy my mayonnaise in this size, but you know, it's hard to envision or I get lazy and tired while I'm ordering and sometimes mistakes are made. This will be fine for, you know, probably three or four meals, <laughs> but I like to buy more than that. It will fit in the refrigerator better. Anyway, I'm going to try to find the total for you guys and um, put it up um, in the description below. And if you like grocery hauls and chat and that kind of thing, I hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. It's a bell icon that you press above in the right hand corner. I think it is. I'm not positive about that. It's just a picture of a bell. Click on that. It doesn't cost you anything, but it lets you know when I put up new videos and it um, keeps us connected and I can get to know you. Take care. Have some joy. Bye-bye.